Do you think kaya? Bigat? Wow! Ah, guys, kaya niya. Oh, so bigat! Kuya! You walk like this? Wow! Do you think I can do this? Hey guys, it's Jessica here and welcome to the very first episode of our Trabaho series season 2. For our very first Trabaho of the day, we're going to be my favorite, Magtataho! Imagine this, it's 7 a.m. in the morning and you're up early, patiently waiting for Kuya Magtataho to pass by your home. You hear him shout, Taho! and immediately rush out to catch him. After a while, you finally get your morning fix of Taho. Taho, which has soybean pudding, sweet syrup, and tapioca pearls or sago, is one of the most common street foods in the country. It is derived from the Chinese word for soft soybean pudding, douha, which is a mixture of tofu, almond syrup, and beans. With the Philippines' Chinese cultural and economic influences, Taho found its way to the country. But instead of using almonds for the syrup, Filipinos used sugar, which created a stronger and sweeter syrup. Since then, Taho has been a comfort food for many because it's delicious, filling, and inexpensive. But more than Taho being a staple in Filipino morning routine, it's all the Kuya Magda Taho that deserve the spotlight. One of those people is Tatay Jimmy. Tatay Jimmy went viral online for giving out free Taho to people in exchange for them to subscribe to his YouTube channel. Today, I will join Tatay Jimmy and hope to give you the same warmth that he has been giving. Ako po si Tatay Jimmy Panis Kunos. So, dito sa Mandalo yung ko kinukuha yung taho. So sumasakay ako kaya po tulay ng City Hall Ayala. Doon na po ako bumababa. Nilalo, binabaybay ko na po yun. Dating ako doon mga alas 6 hanggang alas 10. Yung nag-viral po ako, pinahanap ako ni Mayor Isko Moreno. Jimmy Kanod. Ataho Bendor. So kaya ko po yun naisipan, mamigay ng libreng taho para makatulong po sa ekonomiya ng bansa. So yung mga vlogger ni Yorme, pinayuhan ako, Tay, kasi nag-viral ka na. Kung pamimigay mo ng libreng taho, i-YouTube mo. Masaya po ako dahil nga po napap napapanood ako sa social media. Hanggang kaya ko lang, hanggang bigyan lang ako ni Lord ng pangangatawan at alakasan, kagawin ko pa rin. Hi, Tatay Jimmy. Kaano katagay mo na ginagawa? 20 years. 20 years? Magkano ang kita sa isang araw? Makakabinta ko 600. 600. Ang ingreso ko 400. It's so, 400 to get the, all the ingredients. So, ako, may sakit. May stroke. So, kayo, pwede kayo jogging. Kaya ba kayo with the stroke? It's okay? Oh, oh. Ako, ano ang gusto ko today is to ubus na until 11 a.m. Hindi libre, sell. Kaya? Hindi kaya. Ah, hindi kaya. <laughs> ah, sa office area, punta tayo doon. I'll start na taho-taho. Alright guys, so now I'm gonna be learning. Paano mag gagawin? Ganito po. Pag may mabili, tanongin nyo, how much? So small, big. Magkano po? 20. 20 big? 20. 10 small. Isang small, isang laki na lang. Wait, paano mag-scoop? Ah, ganito. Ah. Ah. Just little by little? Okay. Walang tubig? Walang tubig. Without tubig? Okay. Ang guys, si ma'am po yung nagtatakal ng tao. No, scoop sugar. Sugar? Sugar. Sugar. And then you mix, di ba? Mix and sago. Isang sago? Okay. Isa? Only one sago. Si tubig? No. Tubig hindi. Okay, paano mag-carry? Ikaw dito. Oh, okay. Like that? Ah, like that. And then, which one first? Here? Like that? Like like this? Or like, oh. isa lang? Oh. Uh, so, 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 yeah. Ah. Oh. Do you think kaya? Bigat? <laughs> wow. Ah, guys, kaya niya. Oh, so bigot! Kuya! You walk like this? Wow! Do you think I can do this? Very pagod. Isa lang. Like this side. It's okay? Sobrang bigot ha, Kuya! Guys, 
This is around 20 kilos, so I lift weights, but this is way harder than weights because it's hard to balance. Guys, please come! There's no customer today! Taho! Taho, gusto mo kataho, kuya? San, kuya, san? Guys, can you imagine Taho, kuya, vendors does this every morning? I can't believe they do this the whole time. It's like I'm doing weights and cardio together. Hello. Hello? I'll do it, Kuya. Bakit Kuya sobrang konting sa golang? Katumbas ng isang baldin. Katumbas ng isang baldin? Same value ito. Really? Sago? Ah, sobrang mahal pala yung sago. Kuya, may may tip po kayo pag ano magscoop? Pagalon, pataas. Pataas? How do you call the taho? The taho, parang ano? Paano may may tip? Taho. Taho. Ten. Ten is small. No is scoop. Guys, so like every around 10 minutes, you have to empty the water. So like when you when you don't sell everything, you leave bread? Because to my channel, YouTube. Sobrang matalino ka naman, kuya. Okay. You have to find a new way na bago ng way to earn money. Today, we'll, we'll try to sell as much as possible. It's morning time, so people are probably still craving for taho. Let's move locations. Grabe, grabe. Thank you, Kuya. Thank you. Kaho! Ang suki mo, Kuya? Alright guys, so now I have spent around a few hours to learn from Kuya how they sell and how to go around and now I'm gonna do it myself. Maybe let's move around first. Kaho! Taho! 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 Does anyone want Taho? Taho? Taho po? Taho po? Taho? Ay, grabe! Taho! Let's go, bro. 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 Let's go
Ano anong oh. anong ginagawa mo doon? Waiter sa restaurant. Ah, waiter ka po kayo sa restaurant? Taho. Huh? Your blogger? Yes po. What your account? Oh, Jessica Lee po. Yes po. Saan po po? Okay. Okay po. Ah, kaya pala nadudurog. Kasi yung ano mo, yung pangsandok mo, masyadong malalim. Malalim? Dapat yung ano niya, yung pangsandok mo, yung mababaw lang para gagano'n yung malalim. Ah, okay. Kasi it's first day today. I'll learn. Matuto ko lang. Masyadong malalim. Para yung manipis na. So, ganyan. Ay. Yung manipis lang. Ah, sige po. Hindi hindi malalim. Lapsak na yon. Dino, dino, dino. Dino po. Ah, yeah. Kasi daming too big. Grabe ate kaha daming mal al alam mo sa taho. Yes. Taho magtaha taho ka? Hindi po. Filipino style alam mo. Ah, pi alam alam. Ah, grabe. Kaling kaling. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, sure. Guys, this removing the water is the most crucial in selling taho. Because this water that comes out from the soybean, it transforms the form of the tofu into like like this. Something like really hard. Like this is or it's not soft anymore. And also guys, there are not many people today. But, it's okay. We got this. We still have like, a whole bucket of taho, taho left. Walang tao. Walang tao. Taho! Please come by the taho. It's so hot right here. Taho po? Pinoy ka? Hindi po. Koreana po. Thank you po. What's your name? Jessica po. Jessica. Jessica. Yes. Matuto ko kay kuya. Thank you po. Sarap ka po. Sarap! Sobra! Taho! Ganda naman din di arang tao. Ay, thank you po kuya. Medyo, medyo, medyo. Isang, isang araw lang po magtataho. Gusto mo taho? Gusto mo taho? Gusto ko ng taho, yan. Ah, I hate myself. Hello po. Tanong, saan po po? Sige po. Wait lang po. Wait lang po, ha? Hello po. Isang tao po? My 20, my 10. Anong gusto mo po? 10. Yan, yun po. Pwede na? Thank you, Kuya. Thank you. Dalo ako. Wait lang ko, Kuya, ha? I'm so bad at this. Wait. Okay. Today. Medyo okay, pero hindi pa ba ano, perfect. Oh, hira pa. At saka ang tubig sa tofu, it makes the tofu ano, hard, di ba? 400. 400! Kinita, 400 gram ibigay natin sa pagawaan ng taho. Hmm. At least, nakuha kami na 400. <laughs> Kasi, walang tao, grabe. I was worried na paano 
kung hindi, hindi talaga 400 even. Now, it's tapos di ba ng, ng taho peak time sa umaga. So, ngayon, paano? Libre ka na? Libre na. Libre na? Opo. At saka YouTube, YouTube? YouTube, YouTube. So, okay lang ba talaga sa'yo na libre na lang sa tao, mga tao? Because to YouTube, subscribe to my channel, support. Ah, so, they libre and then sila, subscribe sila. Uy, grabe! <laughs> wow! Thank you so much for teaching me today sa Taho. Sobrang ganda ng experience to. Tatay J, may libre ng Taho. Yeah, he stays in the Manila Bay area by the Dolo Mike. First of all, what shocked me the most is the, the weight of the Taho itself. Because that's so iconic of Taho. Like when I think of Taho vendors, it's really the weighing scale looking kind of equipment. And I really overlooked, I think. It's around 30 kilos. It's harder because it's it's Panganon, so I was like <laughs> So I was like, and he's a senior. It really hurt me, so for him. And also when you leave it down, you have to bend your back to scoop it up. So I kept kneeling my knees on the floor and then bending, bending like this. But I only did it in the morning time, so I guess it was not bad. But if if I imagine myself doing it for until like the sun sets, I think like I'll have a knee pain and back pain and everything. So that was really physically challenging, but really all I have left is just respect for Kuya, Tahoe vendors. Favorite part is when the Kuya gave me the flower. <laughs> Thank you, Kuya. Hi, Grave. Thank you, Kuya. Oh no, he's so sweet. I'm, okay. I'm gonna cry. This is so sad. Guys, he, he, I gave the Libra Taho. He gave me flower. Oh. I never received a flower in my life. Yeah, I was making a Taho for the shots, and then. I gave it to him for free and he gave me a whole flower, a whole bouquet of flower. I almost like cried. Uh, you know, it's like unexpected and just the kind of sense of humanity I felt there was just, yeah. What I realized really was that, and I also noticed this during trabajo, I can really see these like street jobs are getting more and more, like it's getting harder and harder for them as time goes by. I feel like that's why there's like, really there's not much people and even the whole tradition of selling taho in the village. I don't even know if they have such a thing in Manila nowadays. So I almost like felt sad about, oh, are people starting to forget taho? Again, because Tata is very smart and he comes up with these new ideas to kind of make way for him to sustain his job. I think that was really a good idea and that's exactly what we need. In Korea, these kind of vendors are long gone. That's the scenery that I could only see like back in the past, like during my parents' time. I just really love this Taho vendor culture, you know, just again, in the morning in the village, the Taho is your morning call and it's such a vibe for me and then we just play games in the village. It's a tradition that I don't want to disappear. So in Korea, we have this thing called uh, sundubu. It's more like a dish in a spicy stew form. Basically the same as Taho tofu, but we just eat it spicy. That's why Taho for me, it was very exotic at first. I remember I didn't even like the whole. Now, as you guys saw, I was drinking it. Oh, <laughs> all right, guys. So that was my morning journey of being makta taho for a day. It was very physically draining, but there's so many things I learned, and I just, you know, got inspired by Tata and Jimmy a lot as well. You know, with his passion, with YouTube and the whole selling. I pay a lot of respect to all the Taho vendors out there. And thank you, Tata and Jimmy, for this experience. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. Taho. Taho, please. Taho. Taho. Taho.